Hey, what's going on? Benji Kaiser today talking about TN screens versus IPS versus PLS versus VA. So I get a lot of questions from graphic design enthusiasts and people who want to be graphic designers specifically interested in the tech aspects of graphic design. And what I find is that they're really curious about the screen display and often they'll be like, well, aren't these TN to screens and aren't IPS better? And so I want to come on and answer those questions for you. Uh, I want to say that maybe one screen isn't better than another, but maybe one screen is better suited for a different person, a different designer, somebody who has maybe different budget constraints or different types of graphic design they're gonna be doing. And so I just wanted to come on and make a video and really give you a good guidepost on how to select the best computer with the certain screen for your needs. First thing I wanna talk about is the differences between the screens, and then I'm gonna talk about kind of the results and what computer you should pursue as a graphic designer, getting some new gear. I love to do graphic design gear reviews um, because it's just something I really like. I love to research and figure out you know, what computers work well. Um, I actually have another video coming out soon about a computer and I'm just, I'm really excited about it. It's something I geek out on and I think you guys do as well. So I think this, this video is gonna help you out with making a good quality decision as far as the screen's concerned. So I have a few notes written here just so I don't forget anything. So if you've seen me glance down at all, that's what I'm doing. I'm just making sure I don't miss anything for you guys. So let's work through the video now. The first thing I want to talk about is the TN screen. So the TN screens are basically the screens that have been on most computers for many years. I would say, you know, back then, you know, as I say, back in the day. I remember my dad had a compact computer and I used to play this little motocross game on it and I would often let my friends play and if I noticed I sat kind of off to the side and kind of at an angle the screen would get that kind of weird diffused like color saturation look where you couldn't really see what was on the screen so that is what TN screens often do is they get mushy colors when you look at them from different angles so what is happening there is the display is not able to project the colors from multiple angles. And B, the colors are gonna be softer. So you're not gonna have as crisp and strong colors from the TN screens. Now, the benefit of those screens though is they are less expensive to make and they are faster screens. They take less power to power the screen. So it's gonna be better for battery life. That's something that you have to consider as a designer. So it's less money, you get more battery life, and it's gonna be a faster computer, so it's gonna have a little bit better performance. Uh, the comparison that uh, I've often noticed is that in gamers, if they don't care about like super good color quality and they just wanna have a really fast computer, a lot of the high-end gaming machines have TN screens because they're cheaper and they're faster, they're more responsive. So when you're gaming, uh, that responsiveness is key. Now, as a graphic designer, that may not be as key for you. Maybe you need an IPS screen because you really want good color quality, you want brightness, you want contrast, you want deep darks, and you want some nice light, light colors. And so the IPS screen is beneficial to you. The reason being is no matter what angle you look at it from, you're gonna have that great color quality, you're gonna have crisp edges, you're not gonna have mushy colors and blended tones. They're gonna be sharp and crisp. The difficulty with this is the screen is gonna be a little bit slower, a little less responsive, gonna take more battery life and be far more expensive. Now, as we're gonna do this video, if you're curious, okay, like, I appreciate all this info, but I just need to know what computer to buy. In the description below, I'm gonna list out some screens that have let me list off some computers that have TN screens, that have IPS screens, that have PLS and, and VA and, and all the different categories we're gonna discuss here. So if you're curious about the computer that you want according to the content we talk about and uh, what you need as a designer, uh, if you need performance, price, color quality, image quality, you can head down to the description below and check out the models I've listed there, making it really easy on you. If you're curious about your computer you already own and what screen you have, you can go on a website called Notebook Check and I'll list that in the description below as well. Um, so, but don't, don't do that yet. We wanna learn about the screens right now. So let's hang in there with me uh, right now. So IPS screens are more expensive. They're gonna suck more battery and they're gonna be less responsive. They're gonna be a little bit slower, but they're gonna be that color quality that graphic designers are really looking for. They're gonna be sharp, crisp, bright, and accurate. Now, this is something I've run into. I've made a whole video about Adobe RGB and color quality and accuracy. So you can check that out if you want. I'll link it up in the description below um, or the YouTube cards above. 
color accuracy from computer screen to web to digital products to social media, all that, is going to be very accurate. Color accuracy from a graphic designer on their computer to print can only be so accurate. They're in different color spaces. So RGB versus CMYK. So RGB is what your screen and your eyes are seeing, and CMYK is what a printer can print. So just a quick disclaimer on that. Color accuracy for the IPS screens is going to be the best possible, but it's not 100%. You can only do so much from calibrations to different screens to, you know, on a website, on a computer, on a TV. There's, very, there's variety and variation, so you just can't win on every single platform and every single medium. You just have to do the best with what you have. And that's what the IPS screens provide. All right, now there's a next screen. Uh, it's called the PLS. Now the PLS is very similar. It's called plain two line switching. So what you need to know about the PLS screen is it is basically Samsung's version of the IPS screen. It's gonna be a little bit brighter from what I've heard and it's gonna conserve a little bit more power. So the PLS is Samsung's version of the IPS, just so you know. All right, next we're gonna talk about the VA screen. Now the VA panel screen is kind of a hybrid between TN and IPS. So it's not gonna be as sharp as the IPS, but it's gonna be a little bit faster. It's not gonna be as fast as the TN, but it's gonna be a little bit sharper. It's not gonna pull as much power as the IPS, um, but it's not gonna be as power efficient as the TN. So it's this kind of awkward hybrid. Um, I haven't seen a ton of computers with the VA screen. I mainly see TN computers and IPS computers, um, but that's just kind of giving you some perspective from TN to IPS to the VA to the PLS. All right, now as a graphic designer with your needs specifically, what screen do you need? Well, as a budget computers go, most computers around the say $800 to $1,200 range often have TN screens. Not all of them, but, but many of them do. Um, now I'm gonna post a few screens, uh, computers with screens in the description below that are IPS that are more budget related. Um, but you gotta remember, is speed important to you? So if you're a you know, motion designer or a video editor, um, is speed important to you or complete color accuracy? That's kind of a hard trade-off because yeah, you want speed, but you also want color accuracy because you want somebody when they look at your, you know, your finished product on a screen or on a TV, you want it to look very crisp and very color accurate. And if you can't tell on your computer, um, that can be frustrating because you didn't exactly get the product that you were looking to get because your screen didn't show it to you. But I go on the other side of the fence, and I often say that I prefer absolute performance over the perfect screen quality if you're on a budget. Now, if you're not on a budget, you can get best screen quality and best performance. The only thing you're going to lose out on is the battery life. So there's some things here that you really ought to consider. If you're thinking about battery life, you might want to go for a TN screen because you're somebody who's in class all the time, you're on the go, you're on the road, and you need more power. Now, if you're somebody who can plug in and charge up and you want really good screen quality, the IPS might be for you. I really hope this has given you some tips and insights today. Comment below if I've missed anything. Chances are I have. I'm not an expert on screens. I'm just trying to deliver the best content to you possible to make an informed buying decision. Links in the description below for those computers. They are affiliate links. So if you do use those, quick disclaimer, I will get a small commission, but at no extra cost to you. But that's what keeps these videos coming out. That's what keeps this content coming your way and keeping you informed in the graphic design industry. Let me know if you have any questions. I'm Benji Kaiser of BenjiKaiser.com. Share this video out. If there's anybody who's been like razzing you about screen quality and, and all that, send this to them. Let them know that, yeah, as graphic designers, we're thinking about it. All right, I'll see you here on the next episode.